Good day, fellow Toastmasters. This is hi and hello to you all from Taj Toastmasters Club Riyadh, District 79, Saudi Arabia. Today, let's see how we can update the level completion of a member in the base camp as a base camp manager and how the same level completion could be credited through Club Central for the Distinguished Club Program. As we all know, the base camp uh, manager privilege is available only for three XCOM officers in any club, which includes the vice president education, the president, and the secretary. And the vice president education is the most important of these three officers as a base camp manager because he or she will solely be responsible for submitting level completion awards in the base camp uh, by approving them and also submitting them in the club central for the DCP program. In case it is a level completion request by the vice president education himself or herself, then in that case, the other two base camp managers can approve it for them. So let us see how things go on. So first off, we go and log into the Toastmasters International website. Here I am already logged into the Toastmasters International website, and we all know how to move into the profile page. Once you get into the profile page, as a Basecamp manager, you have an option to log in as a Basecamp manager. Select this checkbox and then click go. And there you are going into the Basecamp. Once you enter the Basecamp, as a Basecamp manager, you will be seeing these three large buttons in front of you. The first one is spending requests, then the member progress and manager tutorials. Today, since we are talking about level completion requests, our aim is to go into the pending requests. So once you click on pending requests, you will see all the members who have submitted their level completions for approval to you. So as of now, we do not have any members here, but you will see them, the name of the member who has requested it and their level and their path. And you will see a small tick mark or a cross mark there. The tick mark indicates accept and the cross mark indicates deny. So once you click the tick mark, it's accept. And then it takes you to another window where you'll have a free text box to add a date or the person who approved the level completion and then click submit. And that finishes the job of approving a level completion request by a member. Now, how do we collect the certificates on behalf of the member? Well, any member can get into their base camp and download their certificates of the levels which they have completed so far. But as the base camp manager, if you wish to do it, you could actually select by typing the name of the member. Once you type the first few letters of the member's name, you will see a drop down showing the members and you can select that respective member. Select here. And then once you see the member's profile opening up, you can click on paths and learning. And here you will see all the active paths that are currently in progress. You can click on any path for which you want to download the certificate. Click on open curriculum. And then you have see, you see in front of you all the completed levels, the level one, the level two, level three has been completed in the case of this particular member. So let's say we want to take the certificate for level one, click on view details, and then you have the options of seeing the training details as well as viewing the certificate. Click on view certificate. And there you are, you see the certificate opening up on a pop-up window. The certificate may not be seen here in the screen share because it's not part of the screen share right now, but it'll open as a pop-up window. You could download it, save it in any particular place that you want to and share it with the member at any point in time, or you can even save it for your club records. Okay, so this part completes approval of a level completion request by a member, by the base camp manager, and going over to the members paths and learning curriculum profile and then downloading their certificate. What next? We need to go to the club central to approve this particular level completion. Only then this level completion award or this educational award gets credited to the distinguished club program. So what do I do? Log out from the base camp. It takes me back to the Toastmasters landing page from wherein I can go again to my profile. So here I am to the Toastmasters landing page wherein I click again on the name, which usually is the name of the person who has already logged in. Click on that one 
it takes you to your Toastmasters profile. And you all know in the Toastmasters profile, if you are an XCOM officer, you have the option to access the Club Central. So the Club Central access is eligible for all XCOM members. So per se, it is not necessarily only the base camp manager should submit the level completion award in the Club Central. Any Club XCOM officer can submit an educational award. Only in the base camp, you have the three officers, which is the president, the vice president education, and the secretary. But as far as the club central is concerned, any XCOM officer of the club can submit the educational award. So click on club central. And here you have the option. If you are an XCOM officer in multiple clubs, you have the option to choose the club where you want to access the club central into. And there you are right in front of you. This is my base club where I want to submit the education award. And here you see the option to submit education awards. So click on submit education awards. And there you have a drop down menu showing the names of all the members. So it is for this member for whom we are going to submit the education award today. And then we are going to submit the education prog program that needs to be submitted. Click on that one. And then you will have an option to send a letter of recognition or not, which is applicable only for level three and upwards. So for level one or level two submissions, you will not see the letter of recognition option. It's only for level one, so level three, four, and five. So if you click on yes, you may have to fill in the details of the employer's name, the company name, and the email of the employer, which has to be sought after from the member. You can add it, click on review award submission, you will take, be taken to a review page and then submit it. And finally, this award is added to the Distinguished Club program. So this sums it up all of how to submit or approve a level completion request that has been submitted by a member in the base camp. How do you approve it as a base camp manager? And how do you come back to your club central and upload that education award or submit that education award to the distinguished club program once submitted you can always get back to club central and verify if these awards have been submitted or not how do i do that you have to go to the club central again where you have administrative reports on on administrative reports you can select the report about past and present education awards so once you select that option it shows chronologically all the education awards the club has been credited with since its inception. To, for ease of use, click on the award date for the most recent award that was awarded. So you can see on 8th of July, the most recent award has been already credited to the DCP system of the club. For it to reflect in the DCP points, it might take a little while. It doesn't happen immediately, but once you, it, you see the award here in the administrative reports, that means the award has already been credited to the club. So friends, I believe this video of mine was beneficial to you and hopefully it is useful for you to practice your base camp manager privileges and your XCOM officer privileges in your respective club. Wish you all the very best as an XCOM officer and base camp manager. If you like this video, please hit the like button and click subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Signing off. Bye-bye.